the top stories. Sacked transport board workers turn to the opposition for help. Government is wrapped for red tape over imported charitable donations. And the Commonwealth Games Baton reaches Barbados. Welcome to Nation News for Wednesday, March the 5th, 2014. At Courts, every day we bring affordability, convenience, innovation, and style to over 1 million customers in 11 countries. From homes to communities, we are proud to make a difference in the lives of many across the region. Courts, bringing value home. Well over 30 very frustrated workers from the Transport Board who have been given retrenchment letters between last Friday and today converged upon the opposition office in the West Wing of Parliament to complain about what they call victimization, about what they call unfair treatment, and as well bad representation by the unions, by the Barbados Workers Union mainly. When Soray said that um, the government a couple of days before these letters were shared out, they were trying to stave off uh, a strike. Okay. When the letters started, they show, and we are union members paying the union every week, $6 every week. Most of them who were here today said that they were the sole breadwinners in their family. Some have been working with the transport board for almost 30 years, including a single mother of two. She's, she's been there for 20, 24 years. A number of them voiced their disapproval very loudly and they said that they're here today to complain to Ms. Motley, the opposition leader, to see what else can be done regarding their, their rights as, a, as former workers and their rights as citizens of Barbados. After, after being doing 24 years in the business, that's your whole life. And, that's the majority know what to do. Mm. And right now, they inside me feel very, very, very hollow. Because it's something that I wasn't looking for. And right now, I can't tell you the way I feel after receiving a letter this morning after doing a, a duty, part of my duty. And it's not a good, a good feeling that I feel right now, you know, that I have um, bills to pay, I got three bikes to pay, and, and, a, and a, a lending institution. Got my, my got children to say school. Yes, they're looking toward taking some kind of legal action, but the main story is that, is that they all believe that what has happened to them is not right. When they say that they compare them, the long, the long stint that they've had at the transport board, the number of temporary workers, they have also been given the excuse that, and it was written on on their dismissal papers, that the company is experiencing tough times and their reason most of them that if the company is experiencing tough times well then you go the last and first out method but a number of them here as I said before numbering well over 30 and these are not all but they're here to complain about what they call victimization I'm Ricky Jordan for the Nation News a representative of a charitable organization has called on government to cut the red tape he says is delaying access to donated items Houston Stewart said the Association for Aid to the Physically Challenged of Barbados was experiencing unnecessary hurdles in clearing goods. He was speaking at the St. Lucie District Hospital where the association made a presentation of walkers. I see no reason why the government of the United States and the government of the state of New York who gives, who um, individually and collectively give tax exempt status to anything that we are shipping to Barbados and yet when it, that shipment arrives here in Barbados we are asked to get involved in financial in, um, hurdles to get these things cleared. MP for St. Lucie, Dennis Kelman, who was present, used the opportunity to promote his ideas for the development of the North. I intend to correct the problem of Spicedown and as I said, we are looking to build out Spikestone from the north to the south and to the east. Spikestone cannot be built up and dealing only with Spikestone. And that was the error the previous government did, made, sorry. A forgotten tragedy is how Glendary Prison is being described. 
architectural historian Professor Henry Fraser has the restoration and development of the 150-year-old structure in his sights. He is chairman of a National Conservation Committee. You may recall that Glendary was damaged during a prison riot nine years ago this month and abandoned. But Senator Fraser says the damage to the 14-acre site was not as bad as many believe. The committee has proposed Glendary's restoration through a prison museum, art and craft shops, a workshop for cabinet making, and a conference center or a children's playground. On Ash Wednesday, the start of the Christian season of Lent, many have been attending church services, including the students of the Welches and Hillaby Turner's Hall Primary Schools who went to the St. Thomas Parish Church. The Reverend Michael Clark told the children that there should be beams of light so that they can bring light not only to their lives, but into the lives of their peers. Lent is the period preceding Easter, which is devoted to fasting, abstinence, and penitence in commemoration of the fasting of Christ in the wilderness. In Caribbean news, in an attempt to curb the number of people who attempt to evade paying customs duties on imported goods, Jamaica's government will soon be seeking jail time for offenders. During a meeting of Parliament's Public Accounts Committee, Junior Minister Julian Robinson said fines had proved inadequate. Commissioner of Customs Richard Reeves told the committee there was an elaborate network which colluded to under-invoice items to avoid paying maximum import duties. The history, the legacy, the rivalry, the passion. We versus them. West Indies versus England. Three T20s, March 9th, 11th, and 13th at the Mecca. We versus them. We are the West Indies. Now to sport. Watch out for the Barbados leg of the Commonwealth Games Queen's Baton Relay on Thursday. The relay is due to leave Government House at half past 10 and will be carried to the Barbados Olympic Center at the Garfield Sobers Sports Complex. It will pass such areas as Welch's Road, Government Hill, My Lord's Hill, Welch's and Wildy. The Commonwealth Games take place in Glasgow in Scotland in July. And briefly, Barbadian cyclist Darren Matthews finished third in the Securito Lacaro Road Race in Colombia last weekend. The West Indies Cricket Board and Scotiabank have been continuing the Kitty Cricket Program on Tuesday at the Ignatius Bayer Primary School, St. Lucie, Injured West Indies fast bowler Kimar Roach, who attended the school, met the young members of the cricket team and signed autographs. He then joined them for a practice session. Sports was brought to you by We vs. Them, West Indies vs. England series. A total waste of money. That is how some people describe the expenses associated with the 375th anniversary celebrations of Parliament. The price tag of $100,000 seems like a lot, especially in these times where public workers are being sent home. But there's a flip side. How many of you have traveled to historic cities like Athens, Rome, or the Holy Land? How many have gone to England and taken a picture in front of Buckingham Palace or in Trafalgar Square? Hundreds of tourists were in Bridgetown taking pictures and videos, which they will share with friends and on the social networks. We need to think about the benefits cultural tourism can bring to the country. Instead of the sun, sea, and sand, Barbados can also be marketed for the historic significance of Bridgetown and the garrison Savannah. We can't change the past, but we still need to celebrate our cultural heritage. And finally, talk about protecting the crown jewels. A man accused of using a cutting torch on an ATM in Oregon in the United States was wearing armored underwear when he was arrested. Police say the 32-year-old man was wearing two ballistic vests and had ballistic panels sewn into undergarments covering his arms, legs, back, and crotch. He was booked into jail on multiple charges, including being a felon in possession of body armor. And that's Nation News for Ash Wednesday.